it's into their own hands. We have this justice system for a reason, and the police department here has the investigation under hand. Uh, please, please, if you know any information about this person who has taken the law into his own hands, contact the police department. Uh, his description, he was wearing a leather jacket, a hoodie, and uh, blue jeans. So contact the number underneath, and remember, the law is in our arms. I'm here, and it all feels so familiar, and yet so different during the day. How did I get here? Was I ever really here? No. Yes, I was. I feel it. But why? And how? I've heard about out-of-body experiences. I've heard a lot of crazy things. But I feel like I've been here. Y you know, there are places for people like this. Psychiatric wards, mental hospitals, in the loony bin. Maybe I should switch my major so I can be the crazy, overpaid scientist or the eccentric painter and make lots of money. <laughs> yeah, that would make my parents proud. My, uh, my parents. That's it. Sam. Trent, what's up, man? I know what's going on. What's going on? Let me in first. All right. So you know my parents were killed, right? Yeah, but... Listen to me. I've been having these waking dreams at night. The dreams I was telling you about are all real. I think they are. I mean, I, the people I've been hurting in them are like criminals, burglars, muggers. People who put other innocent people in harm's way. Dude, stop this for a second. Just pause it. This, this is important. It's all revenge for my parents. Are you sure? <sighs> yeah, and I've got to stop. Sam, I went back to all the places where my dreams took place. I found the places. They're real. And I remember everything in greater detail. I remember every detail. I've got to stop this. I've got to stop it all. How do you stop yourself when you're not in control? Fuck if I know, man. Listen, I gotta go. I got a lot of thinking to do, but I'm not gonna sleep until I get some professional help. Well, give me a call later. We'll work it out. Don't do anything you'll regret. Don't do anything stupid. Hey, brother, what's up? Yo, what's going on, man? What you been up to? Oh, you ain't gonna show no brother no kindness? Okay, I see how it is. Hey, man, you got any spare change? Dude, what is your problem, man? Oh, man, I don't have a problem. I'm just, you know, trying to get some change, man. It's your problem, dude. Robbie Parker was convicted of a double homicide of Paul and Vicki Foster 15 years ago and was sentenced to 45 years in prison. He has escaped the Robinson County Penitentiary and is thought to be near Pembroke, a large man. You killed him! Who, me? You fucking piece of shit! Oh, dude, you wouldn't be able to run the rest of your life too, man! You go to jail! Yeah.
suffered enough. Get out of my sight. Caught up with the convict Robbie Parker. Uh, it seemed that he got in a scuffle with an anonymous citizen. Uh, the citizen and him were going back and forth when an automobile struck him. Uh, EMTs tried to revive him, but they failed to do so, and he died on the scene. That is all for now. An official police report will be released tomorrow. It's a tragic story from Pembroke, North Carolina.